The Three-Fifths Compromise. It was the allocation given to slaves way back in 1787, designating them three-fifths of a person when counting a state's population when awarding them representative delegates. It was repealed in 1868, but it's being talked about again in the Tennessee House of Representatives. Republican lawmaker Justin Lafferty took to the floor on May 4th to discuss a new law that would prohibit critical race theory from being taught in schools. Critical race theory being a movement to critically examine history, culture, and especially laws as they pertain to race. So what's that have to do with the Three-Fifths Compromise? Here's what Representative Lafferty had to say. The Three-Fifths Compromise was a direct effort to ensure that Southern states never got the population necessary to continue the practice of slavery everywhere else in the country. By limiting the number of population in the count, they specifically limited the number of representatives that would be available in the slaveholding states, and they did it for the purpose of ending slavery well before Abraham Lincoln. Except that's not really true. According to The Hill, historians are mostly in agreement that the Three-Fifths Compromise actually increased the power of Southern slave states. Lafferty's premise suggests slaves were ever counted as one person prior to the Compromise. They were not. They were awarded Three-Fifths as a compromise to the South, where of course slave numbers grew, as did the representational power of those states nationwide.